Welcome to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. This week, we are again coming to you from MJ Harrington Jewelry on Main Street in Newport, where their commitment is to exceptional craftsmanship and thoughtful customer service and goes hand in hand with MJ Harrington's dedication to our community. Shannon McMichael, the new director of the Newport Chamber, will tell us about her vision. Russell Moore will bring us up to speed on a bicycle safety workshop coming up on May 17th in New London. We'll have a two-part series of the introduction of the Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners. And we'll close with a visit to the Optimistic Brewing Operation in Springfield. But first, a few words from the good supporters that make your Yankee Chronicle possible. Please stay with us. This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and backup generators. Their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997, with roots going back much further as the Country Press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsarge Shopper. Echo Communications. Main Street Bookends of Warner. For books, toys, games, cards, gifts, and a gallery of local art. Main Street Bookends of Warner. The Intertown Record. Your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Intertown Record. Can I go to the sleepover? I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. The American Red Cross blood supply is at historically low levels this winter, and we're facing a dangerous situation across the country. Without the blood they need, hospitals may be forced to make tough decisions about patient care. Donors are needed now to ensure blood is available for everyone who needs it, when they need it. The good news is, you can help. Make an appointment to give now. Visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. Patients are counting on you. This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and backup generators. Their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you from MJ Harrington's right downtown Newport. Come on in and say hi to the great crew here. And I'm now joined by, I don't want to call her Miss Newport herself, but she is very well-rounded in this community, Shannon McMichael from the Newport Chamber of Commerce, new to the position. Yes, hi, Shannon. Hi. So Thank exciting to have you. So you're brand new to this executive director. You told me right before we came on that some people referred to you as Miss Ella because she yes. was the uh, director for so long. But what a position to be in. Yes, it's fantastic. I love being a part of this community. So exciting. And you've been part of it for so long too. Um, so that must help you already know so many people and businesses and things like that. Yeah, so I've been on the board of directors for the past five years. And when Ella retired after, you know, 35 yeah, plus years, crazy. Um, I said, all right, what, you know, the position is really just promoting the business right. in town, which is so easy to yeah, do. Right. It's so fantastic. Right. And so much fun. So yeah, so great. Anything you're hoping to do with the position? 
Um, we're just really gaining new members like crazy, getting everybody on board because this community really is fantastic. Totally. It's like a Hallmark movie. Yeah, it really a is. A real life Hallmark movie. Yeah. So, and everyone knows each other, which yeah. is like so downtown, small country living. I love it. Exactly. Um, so looking into the spring and summer, you have a ton going on. Give us a little insight on what people can expect. We have so much happening. So fun. Um, so we've got our eighth uh, Nano Brew Fest happening on Can't the Common. wait. Yeah, we're actually um, working with the Library Arts Center. We'll be on the other end working on the new mural. Cool. Yeah, that will be on the side of Newport Fitness. That's, so that's great. great. That's We've awesome. We've got our second annual Wings and Wheels car show happening cool. down at the Parlin Field Airport. And that brings so many people. So many. Yeah. And can people participate as not only coming to see, but bring a car? Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Bring any vehicle. Oh my gosh, cool. Supercars and hot rods, airplanes, <sighs> motorcycles. Oh my gosh. Sounds so yeah, like a joy. that should be fun. Good. What else uh, into later in the summer? Um, then we're hosting our block party and chamber night. Oh, fun. So we've got about six bands that will line up from the common all through Main Street, people just walking around. Cool. And do you shut down Main Street or people like all around? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. How There's fun dancing is that? in the streets and music everywhere. Just a lot of fun. And then come and meet chamber members too. Yes. Which is so important because I think a lot of people walk around here and they say, okay, I know this business, I know this business, but they might not necessarily know that they're part of the chamber. Exactly. And it's great to put a face with the name. Absolutely. You know? And you might learn about a new business that you don't know of or exactly. is in town. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, talk about some of the new things that are happening around Main Street. There's a lot happening. I mean, we have some construction going on, but new businesses, things like that. There are so many new businesses coming into town. New restaurants. We've got the Newport MMA, which is the mixed martial arts. Really so they're going to cool. have UFC fighters here. Yeah, we've got In the Forest of Time, uh, the antique shop. Great. Right up on top of the hill. So, yeah. It's really stuff. important that people are coming and opening businesses, and especially in this crazy time we've been having. I give them a ton of credit. Exactly. It really is amazing. Newport hasn't slowed down at all. We're just... Amazing. We just keep on trucking. Tell us about the membership of being um, a member for your business, part of the chamber. What are the benefits? How do you become one um, for anyone that's watching? So you can go onto our website for more information and download the membership form, but individuals can join, nonprofits can join, businesses. Um, the rates are really reasonably priced and we've got so much happening. Business after hours, referral programs, you know, exposure on our social media, our yep. websites. So yeah. Your lives. You gotta go watch one of <laughs> Shannon's lives on Facebook. She'll tell you exactly what's happening. You said right oh before boy. we came on, you said, I'm really good at talking to my phone, but not necessarily to someone else. I get that. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. David Lance. I do them all for David Lance. Yeah. <laughs> that is he your number one viewer? Yes. Good, good, good. Um, so that's really important too. And I think that sometimes people don't really understand like, okay, what, what are the benefits of being a chamber member? But if you just go onto your website and take a look, there are a lot of benefits to so it. So many. Yeah, yes. that's really important. And I think the chamber night is one of the most important ways to like get out there too for some of these new businesses especially definitely tell us about when the chamber night is if someone's watching and they're like I definitely want to be part of that so that's gonna be July 22nd it's a Friday night um, from 5 to 8 p.m. like I said music food vendors all different everybody will be out so fun yeah. for all information that you need uh, website social media those are all the places to get in touch with you yes definitely well Shannon McMichael from the uh, Newport Chamber of Commerce so much going on thank you so much for the lowdown yeah thanks for having me. When we return, we'll join Russell Moore and friends to promote a bicycle safety workshop coming up. But first, these words from the good folks that make our communities the great places they are, the businesses that support us, and the organizations you use and love. Where are you headed? I'm uh, just gonna hang out. If any of your buddies ever pressure you to take a drink, just tell them you promised your dad you wouldn't. I promise. Love you too, Dad. They really do hear you. For tips on what to say, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. I'll be here to hear what's on your mind. Take this time to talk and get it right. You know I'll be there. everyday conversations about the dangers of underage drinking can make a big difference in a child's life. Talk. They hear you. This program is supported by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997 
with roots going back much further as the country press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsard shopper. Echo Communications. Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. I'm Abby Peel. It's the time of year when more and more bikes take the streets. Let's join Russell Moore and friends to hear how you can make sure your kids are safe when out and about. Hi, uh, Russ Moore at New London Bike Walk Coalition. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to tell you about an uh, event coming up, the Be Bike Safe event on May 17th from 4 to 6 p.m. And we're inviting families with young children to come out and learn more about biking safely. We will have giveaways, bike safety route, and also bike inspections, free bike helmets, and we'd very much appreciate you coming out and having some fun, enjoying the day and learning more about bike safety. Anyone from the area is welcome to participate. You do not need to be a New London resident. The people who are making this happen are the New London Police Department, the New London Hospital, Village Sports, the Department of Recreation in New London, and I want to thank them for their participation and support for the event. Well, it's very important in terms of bike safety to follow all the traffic rules, including stopping at stop signs whether or not there's a vehicle in sight, using appropriate hand signals for turns, and being sure to keep an adequate distance from motor vehicles. Well, you can get lots of information online about bike safety and about bike traffic rules. The New Hampshire Department of Transportation has information on their website about bike safety. Uh, there's a lot of information out there to help people in terms of uh, being sure they're vigilant on the road. All right, the New London Bike Walk Coalition is actually an affiliate of the Bike Walk Alliance of New Hampshire, which is a statewide advocacy group that promotes bike safety and walking to people of all abilities. And our organization is really an informal network of volunteers to work on improving the infrastructure for biking and walking in town, to educate people about the rules of the road and being bike safe and walking safely. We also have done a community survey last year. We had over 350 responses and one of the questions was related to people's level of quality of life in town and more than 61 percent said that bike paths and bike bike trails are very important to their quality of life in town and this was buttressed by a community health needs survey that was done by new london hospital which asked people in terms of new programs and services that might be available what would be most important to them. And over 41%, the top responders said that bike trails and walking trails would be the thing that they would utilize the most. So there's quite a bit of public support and interest in biking in town. We've been working with town officials in terms of looking at pedestrian crossings, looking at intersections in terms of improving safety. We've developed a downtown business bike loop map where we hope to create some alternative pathways to Main Street for people to uh, people of all abilities to walk and bike safely. So these are just some of the activities that we're involved with in terms of promoting safe walking and biking in town. Well, there's lots of opportunities to volunteer for events such as the May 17th Be Bike Safe event. We, we also have a Facebook page where people can get more information about our organization. But yeah, we certainly would invite anyone who's interested in this particular area to, to contact us. The best way to get in touch with us is through our Facebook page, New London Bike Walk Coalition. Again, the May 17th Be Bike Safe event is at Kursage Elementary School, which is right here, and uh, it's from 4 to 6 p.m. People do not need to register. Uh, they can just show up. Uh, it, it's free. Uh, we will have refreshments. We'll have fun activities for children. So we warmly invite you to participate. 
Thanks, Russell, and thank you for your efforts. When we return, we'll hear from Cindy Johnson and Nancy Allenby in the second part of our piece about the Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners. But first, these words from one of the good folks that make our communities the great places they are. We are strong and we'll get through this together, but these are stressful times. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, and know that you are not alone. Visit wearebroadcasters.com slash hope, furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. We are strong, we are resilient, and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times, and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or afraid, but there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community, and know that you are not alone. Learn more at wearebroadcasters.com slash hope. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. This program is supported by The Intertown Record, your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Intertown Record. Welcome back. I'm Abby Peel, your Yankee Chronicle host. Last week, we heard about the creation of the Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners. Let's now hear about their mission. Hi, ladies. Well, Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners was born out of a concern that community members had for our neighbors in need. And so our hope in um, forming this group of individuals was that we could um, address these needs by connecting, by connecting them with the community, by connecting them with each other, um, so that we would build this web of support and be able to lift them from this state of insecurity and instability. Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners uh, began with several individuals who came together who said, um, we, um, we, need to, we need to find a group of people who want to discuss uh, how we can move forward in wholeness within this community. Also recognizing that one of the particular organizations that we were, um, that we were associated with and working with, which is uh, CREM, Kearsarge Reg Regional Ecumenical Ministries, was, um, was, coming, uh, was, was experiencing individuals coming back to them on an ongoing basis. And I think that that's what concerned us is that oftentimes these crises that are being addressed and met are only um, the, either the tip of the iceberg or in some ways they're not really meeting the bedrock issues that these these individuals are facing. One of the things that makes Kearsarge Neighborhood Partners really special is our principles. We started out um, realizing that when some of the relief organizations were helping individuals with a need, uh, they were able to give them some financial help, able to solve some of the issues. But what we were trying to design was a way to walk with people and to have an individual relationship with people um, and to help them move out of crisis by supporting them, possibly on a longer term basis. So by not doing for them and trying to empower them, we tell them we will walk beside you for as long as you want or as long as you need. And um, one of the last values that we really um, are in tune to is the value of reciprocity. So as people move towards wholeness and towards stability, we look for opportunities for them to become the giver. There's three ways that we connect, three levels of connection. The first level of connection is one person to one person, neighbor to neighbor. The second way that we connect is to help neighbors reach an organization or organizations that can help support them. And the third way that we connect is by collaboration, which is organizations collaborating with organizations together helping neighbors. So the simplest form of that connecting is the neighbor to neighbor. And we have something that's called a flash mission, as in mission accomplished. And a flash mission is a single deed that needs to be done on a particular day. 
it usually has a limit of two to three hours to it, but it could be much briefer than that if necessary. Please visit our website. On the home page, there are two main buttons in yellow. The first one is neighbors needing help. If you are a neighbor needing help, if you know of a neighbor needing help, please encourage them to go to our website and click on that button. The other yellow button on that home page is neighbors ready to help. If you would like to see if there's something that you could get involved in with CareSearch Neighborhood Partners, if you click on the neighbors ready to help button, there will be um, a short list of ways that you can get involved and you can simply check off the things that you might be interested in. The third way that you could help is by donating. There is a third yellow button that says donate. We are a 501c3, but basically every single person who's helping with KNP is a volunteer. And, and believe me, people are basically working full time for the organization on a volunteer basis. Um, wonderful group of people. There is a very special alternative gifting op uh, opportunity that's coming up. We have a volunteer who is a watercolor artist and she has painted a gorgeous winterized version of our KMP logo and we're having those made into holiday cards. If you'd like to make a donation and gift that to someone in their honor, the cards will say a donation has been made in your honor and you can donate right through that button and let us know if you'd like some cards so that you can use that donation as a gift for a loved one or someone who you think would appreciate knowing that about KMP. Thanks ladies, you can get involved as a supporter or if you need their assistance, email them. When we return, we'll revisit a piece we did about a new brewing operation in Springfield. But first, let's visit another community-minded business that supports your Yankee Chronicle. The American Red Cross blood supply is at historically low levels this winter, and we're facing a dangerous situation. Hospitals and patients are counting on donors to get the blood they need. Make a life-saving appointment today. Visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. We all want our kids to grow up safe and healthy, so we show them how, and we tell them with honest conversations that let them know what we expect. That's especially important when it comes to alcohol and other drugs. Kids need to know the dangers and how to avoid them. And when it comes to pain medications, opioids, they need to know that they should never be taken without a prescription and never shared with friends or family. It's dangerous and illegal. So talk with your kids, because when you talk, they hear you. This program is supported by Main Street Bookends of Warner. For books, toys, games, cards, gifts, and a gallery of local art. Main Street Bookends of Warner. Welcome back. I'm Abby Peel, your Yankee Chronicle host today, coming to you from MJ Harrington Jewelry right here in Newport. Let's head over to Springfield for a visit to one of the newest brewing operations in our area. Hi, guys. You know, we, we decided one day, you know, maybe we should try to brew some beer. Um, so we started with a couple of kit beers. Um, the first one was, you know, actually drinkable, uh, but not fantastic by any means. Um, we did the second one, we added some of our own hops to it, uh, tried to make it a little different than what you know, the recipe called for. Um, again, it was drinkable, but not the greatest beer in the world by any means, so uh, Bill brought up the idea, you know, hey, let's, let's get together and try and do some an all-grain brewing. Yeah. And um, so we, bought, we went out and we bought some stuff to, to try and do an all-grain, and um, it turned out fantastic. We kind of both had the idea that we were gonna be you know, throwing a little bit of money away as we learned how to do this, but Bill had like a natural knack for it. All grain is where you actually buy different types of grains and you actually crack the grain yourself, you steep the grain, and you can do all different combinations. It just gives you more um, ways to make combinations with those grains, do different types of beers, and you can really expand into any kind of beer you want at that point, instead of being stuck with just what's, you know, done with 
malt extracts and stuff like that, which you can still do, but to a point it's just not worth it. You can get to do a lot more, and that's how the pro brewers do it, you know, with, with the actual all grain, cracking their own grains, getting their hops, doing it all from beginning to end, steeping it and everything. So, yeah, so we have a grain mill. We, uh, we get our big bags of grain. We, we look at our recipe, and we, we separate it all, weigh it all out, and then we put it through our grain mill, and it cracks it all. Um, and then at that point, we, we're heating up our water, and we just get it to whatever the temperature calls for for that particular recipe. And we steep it for, depending on the recipe, the time changes. And then we'll do that for that time. And, and what we do, we do what's called brew in a bag. So we don't have a separate mash tun, uh, hot liquor tank and all that. We actually do it in one vessel. And when we're done steeping the grain, we pull the bag out, let it drain, and then we can start boiling it right away. And it saves us time and uh, space. This is a big thing it saves us. Um, ultimately, you know, we're the kind of guys that are beer lovers um, and we want our beer to taste like beer. So we're not looking to fruit a beer to the point where it's juice. Um, we're looking to add hints of flavor to beer. Yeah, that's what kind of our philosophy is uh, to have a, to have, make it a beer first and then have flavors there because it's craft beer. You're going to have, you want to have the different flavors, but it's still got to be a beer first. We're at 668 Four Corners Road in Springfield, New Hampshire. Um, it's actually an old family uh, plot of land that my house is on and uh, the garage here. And we decided that uh, this would be a great place to start. So we converted the garage into our brewery, the, the tasting room here uh, with an outdoor seating area and everything, uh, parking area too. And uh, it's worked well. It's not, it's a small town, so we kept it small and uh, it's been great and people are enjoying it. Uh, for our opening we realized that you know we started to get a little nervous because so many people were sharing our page that we we noticed that on the on the first weekend that we were open there was over 10,000 um, reach that that people had helped us get to yeah um, and it worked out well I mean we kept up we realized that we needed to buy more glasses um, we never let somebody go without a beer but uh, we were very close so we boarded up a lot of stuff we sold all of our merchandise on the first weekend we sold out of all of our cans of beer on the first weekend um, as well as a couple of taps so our plans to get to 12 taps and we're we're really working hard to get there because uh, people are enjoying our beer and I guess that's a great problem to have. So it actually worked out well because Hoptimistic seems like a really good name for what's going on because you know it's it's has beer in it it has being optimistic about the world today and uh, that little mystic part is kind of uh, the mystery behind beer some people don't get the how the process works so I think it's kind of a really good name that ties a lot of things together and I think it works well. Uh, we're on Facebook um, at uh, Hoptimistic Brewing uh, you can find us there. Um, we also have an Instagram page, uh, also under the same name, Optimistic Brewing. Um, we have a website, greatbeeroptimistic.com. Um, so you can check it out there. Uh, a lot of people have been sharing stuff word of mouth. We're open on uh, most Fridays and Saturdays during the summer hours. We're open uh, 12 o'clock in the afternoon to 9 p.m. During the winter months, we're gonna be open 12 o'clock to 8 p.m. as it gets dark a little bit sooner. You know, everybody's welcome to stop by. We're, we're really enjoying meeting some new faces. Come by and try and stay, stay optimistic. optimistic. Thanks guys, and we want you to know that since our visit, they have upgraded their brew system to five barrels from one. They won Best Craft Brewery in New Hampshire for 2021 on WMUR-TV, Viewer's Choice, as well as New Hampshire Best Craft Brewery for Union Leader Reader's Choice 2021. Hoptimistic also won six awards this past year at Claremont Brewfest, competing of over 35 breweries. Sounds like they're worth a visit. Next week, we'll be at LaValle Building Supply, dedicated to the communities they serve. They find it a pleasure to do business with such outstanding customers throughout New Hampshire and Vermont and owe LaValle success to the tremendous partnerships they've built over the years. Don't miss our Game of the Week replay. This week, we'll feature the Kearsarge football team hosting Interleaks. All our games replay at 12 noon and now at 7 p.m. Sundays and Mondays or on demand anytime at YCNnow.com. And I just want to make a note, we've moved our Yankee Chronicle to local prime time at 7 p.m. in addition to its noon airing on Thursdays and Fridays. Check out our home on a new region-wide cable channel being hosted by NCTV in Newport and programmed throughout the Lake Sunapee Kearsarge region. YCN will continue to provide regional public affairs programming, sports, and our Yankee Chronicle. 
I'm Abby Peel. Join us again next week coming to you from La Valley's for another edition of Your Yankee Chronicle. Stay safe, everyone.